versus uh, Mouse Rat. This is literally the matchup of the one, the very super fast character versus the slow moving bruiser. That actually isn't slow. This man is so fast. Three, two, uh, but this can be a really, uh, it's kind of a risky matchup for both sides because if Bowser approaches badly, it can, it can take a lot of damage. And you see right now, like what kind of a uh, crazy damage output Pikachu can put out if you get the opportunity. On the other hand, if Pikachu approaches unsafely, I think the uh, matchup is that he's going to get hit by these super heavy moves, and it only takes Bowser five uh, neutral interactions to really win a stock. So if uh, Mouse Red approaches, uh, if Mouse Red doesn't approach carefully, if he's not like paying attention to what Chunky is doing, or alternatively, like one of his uh, approaches just gets scouted super hard, uh, this can end really poorly for Mouse Red. Okay, nice. Yo, nice, uh, nice drag down forward air. Actually, eating the jump. Uh, you can also see like a footstool there. It didn't actually. It didn't quite. Um. It didn't quite do. It was a phantom footstool, but it was still uh, good enough to get him down there. And it was really just making sure that if you did anything that wasn't uh, immediate up, you was gonna die. Which at that range, it was not gonna do that. And here we go. Just like little loops. This man is at 90 damage. And that downer might have actually killed Mouse Red. But Mouse Red is staying right out of the other uh, range there. Aloha. Um, oh, oh, aloha to you too. Yeah, I see that we have uh, Mouse Rat and, and a Bowser named Chunky, who just lost the stock to Pikachu. And his photo. Um, Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be straight up with you. This matchup isn't just bad for Bowser, it's like atrocious. Like, he just flat out does not play the game. Yeah, he doesn't play the game, but like the few chances he does get to play, you usually like bring it back. But it's just a matter of like what you do when Pikachu is out of those loop, loop ranges that will determine whether you win or not. Versus yeah. him. But you're 100 percent right. If Pikachu gets you off stage at like the wrong times, you're 100 percent dead. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like Pikachu like definitely has the mobility to hit Bowser's shield in such a way. Like he's <laughs> Pikachu's just able to make. He just, you know what? <laughs> he just got deleted. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't laughing what you were saying. You're 100 percent right. Uh, like it really is just a matter of like guessing what Pikachu does, and if you guess right, you get a lot of damage, and if you guess wrong, well, you're gonna probably be the Mm-hmm. Yeah, but right now, you know, he has to be like off stage against Mouse Rat. Definitely like the last place you want to be. <laughs> and he mashed down B in the few frames he had. That was down. That was forward smash, wasn't it? No, he did S smash on 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 uh, on Chunky Shield, right? And then Mouse Rat had enough time to get away, but instead he pressed down B. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that that's what happened. I was just I was just so surprised when I saw F smash coming from Chunky. And there you go. Uh, this is now an even game. Uh, literally, Bowser just needs to get win four, get four hits, and he couldn't even get one. Pikachu <laughs> <laughs> wins. This game just I feel like this is a match that commentates itself, honestly. Because like if Mouse got loses neutral like three times, and he loses stock. If uh, if Chunky, you know, if he if he loses neutral once, you know, he's eating like fifty percent, and he's off stage against Pikachu. You know, and he's like forced to recover low or something. It's just not fun for the Bowser. This is just not a good time. Mouse did a good job just like making sure, you know, he's not gonna lose with that three stock lead that he had. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna clean this up with, uh, you know, with a little left smash. But imagine if Mouse Rat hadn't, uh, if Mouse Rat got hit three times, Ready? that would have been a last hit game. <laughs> it's like, as Pikachu, like, you put in so much work in every single matchup you play. To try to, like, are you sympathizing with the Pikachus? No, 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 no. I'm not even saying. I'm not even mm -hmm. sympathizing with the Pikachu so much as mm -hmm. it's fine with the speedy characters where it's like, yeah, I have, like, I'm a paperweight. Uh, I can hit you 20 times and you can hit me three times. And if I mess up, I'm dead. You yeah, know, there's like, like a, that's there's a the... much larger element of execution. Yeah, you're definitely right. Where they just have to be constantly on top of it. They have to be. Because if they mess up once, like, look what happens. They just took yeah. 60 percent from just a couple of hits. But Chunky, that was interesting. I think he got shield poked by the back end and was slightly like propelled upwards and then he was able to get the up B out while he was in the air. That was interesting. 
So something that's kind of annoying right there is that you want to be inside of Pikachu when he's finishing in there because you want to get hit by that last hit to make sure you get knocked out. Mm -hmm. But if the Pikachu is facing the, uh, the nearest properly and you're doing them at the right height, that's not really an option. So you're going to have to guess what he's going to try to do at any given moment. And an up tilt from Bowser will kill at this percent. So that's a yeah. question. And that's probably the best move for scouting out for attacks. And what a good cover for Mouse Mousecrap, though. That was, that was very, very nice. Um, you know, he kind of, like, scared Chunky back into the corner and let himself get back on for free. <laughs> because he's alive, he can, he can live that! No, no, Mousecrap can live that! I think he yeah, can live that. If he, he could have definitely lived it. He could have definitely lived it, but he didn't, uh, jump out of the, uh, side. You know? And honestly, the big loser there was, was, uh, Chunky, because... Mousecrap wasn't gonna kill him anytime soon, unless he, uh... Unless he got like a big read or he managed to get him off stage, and Chunky was definitely in prime position to do so. Yeah, but honestly, I really like that Chunky did go for it. That's the second time he did go for um, side B, leading Mouse to that attempt to hit him with the uh, down B. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I feel like Mouse got just like again, he's like getting into this habit, and Chunky just seems to be so so ready to be able to punish it. That time he was a little bit too slow with it, but every single other time he's done playing. Yeah, it's just a matter of like what kind of uh what kind of risk are you willing to take? The reward that you want. Uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, what was that? Ew, ah. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so Chunky clearly not. He doesn't know like how much time I guess he has. Ah, oh, dude, okay. please! Those out of shield upbeats are atrocious. They're turning into regular upbeats. Please don't. I mean, he might have fast jump on. Honestly. I'm pretty sure he does if he's doing... I mean, maybe he's just messing up at his timing. You could, you could have time to pop and keep pressing that. Uh. <laughs> Again, this is a matchup that really commentates itself. Like, you get hit a couple of times. So that's something that I don't... Something I really don't like that Chunky, that Chunky kind of did the whole match, and this is not like even throwing shade at the guy, is that he tried really hard to never be ball special. Even when it was really obvious that um that mouse rat was going for like these super these super low thunders to try to go for the spike. Um maybe he didn't know that that's like a possibility yeah. that you can get spiked at like ten percent and die, with, like absolutely no chance to come back. But that's a uh, part of the matchup when you're playing a heavy is that you sometimes have to be willing to go super high or like go super low to avoid getting hit and you have to just guess that they're gonna when you see that they're doing that kind of thing constantly, you have to guess that they're gonna do it again. But what can you do, right? Alright. Oh, that's funny. We have a Wii Fit trainer in Winners who actually beat Bonkai 02 Visceral. I have no idea who this is. Oh, Visceral. That's, uh. He's a fellow from Long Island. Uh, yeah, a really nice guy. Yeah, very pleasant. Nothing yeah, nice things to say about Visceral. It's his first time participating, and he beat both Bonkai and Master Monkey. He was the person know. who beat, uh. 